Pete Fagoski was a cop, and from what everyone says, he was sort of a cop's cop. There was a robbery in progress, and in the course of the police entering the building, Pete was shot. When a police officer is killed, is there a special sense of urgency for the district attorney's office to, to prosecute someone? I don't know if it's urgency, but I think it takes on special meaning. I think they deal with all cases seriously. But because prosecutors are in law enforcement, it's like a member of the family. The prosecutor in the Pete Fagoski case was Ken Taub, who is head of the homicide division. Tell me about Ken. Ken is, you know, down to business, solid guy, and I think he approaches cases looking at them, you know, for evidence that there's sort of this mixed role of part prosecutor, part detective. How does Ken handle the ups and downs inherent in being a prosecutor? Well, what Ken says is he sort of separates himself. He just looks at the evidence and moves forward, and as he's preparing the case, he's really just driven on what the evidence is and what he's going to present. We had asked him, you know, how do you prepare for trial? And I guess he's been doing it so long that he's not one to stand in front of a mirror practicing his opening arguments. He says he doesn't even have notes. What images stand out in your mind from working with Ken on this case? The thing that stands out with me about Ken is really, he's very thoughtful. He might seem to have sort of a, a tough exterior, but you can see how these cases really affect him. Even when we brought him back to the crime scene, you know, he remembers what it was like and it was clearly thinking about, you know, the, the life that was lost there. And he said that's really what keeps him being a prosecutor, is the impact with the family and how years later he still gets calls from the families that really keeps him attached to this job.